We are so pleased to see a friend right here at our home and studio today, Tish Slimmons Bishop of Oklahoma City. She is the daughter of the late Dr. and Mrs. T.M. Slimmons, who lived here in Milshu. What year did you all move to Milshu, Tish? We moved here in 54. 1954 from where? Uh, Amherst, Texas. From Amherst. And now you graduate from high school in I Amherst. In Amherst, yes, uh, in 52. In 52, <laughs> just before. So had you already started to tech when they moved here? Yes, I had. Uh huh. So you really didn't live here with them exactly. <laughs> right, only summers and and holidays. <laughs> and and your uh, brother though did. He was in high school and graduated from Milshu High School. What is his name and where does he live now? Okay, San is uh, San Slamons lives in Perryton, Texas, and retired. Uh huh. And. He and his wife, Lou Ann, are enjoying retirement <laughs> there. And uh, both of you graduate from Tech. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, what was your major in, Tish? Well, it was advertising, art, and design. And they don't even uh, have that anymore. <laughs> it's old fashioned, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, uh, I remember, wasn't it your first job at Hempel Wells? Yes, I've decorated the windows in Hempia Wells for about three years. And all oh, those windows were so gorgeous, weren't they? I, you know, do any stores nowadays still have window dressings like Hempia Wells did? Very few. There may be some are beginning to, some of the bigger stores in the cities maybe are doing it some, but especially on holidays. But no, uh, my bosses did those front windows and they were beautiful always. And you know those corner windows at Hampel or that corner window in yeah, yeah. downtown Avenue J and what would it have been 13th gosh I don't remember that's been too long ago oh they were beautiful and I remember one time you got to bring home at Christmas one of the angels or the pixies or whatever well, I was the angel. You were the angel. You did bring her home. <laughs> yes. And I, uh, I went over to my aunt and uncle's house and changed clothes when I got here. I didn't come all the way from Lubbock in it and went to my folks' house then in my costume of pink and uh, pink wig. And I think they were kind of shocked. They thought I had driven all the way in it. <laughs> but it was a fun day. I got to go through the store and talk to the children. And yeah, it was it was fun. Well, I guess I was younger, and I I was impressed by that Christmas uh, angel that came to Milshu with pink hair. Cause I I kept thinking, well, you know, how did Tish? And there was a costume and a what was it a mannequin? I was thinking uh, yeah. it was you. The uh, dep the uh, display department always was uh, assigned to do a party for the for the and a show for the store uh, pe people and that was our show when I was the the fairy I guess I don't know anyway I was new there so I just did what they told me of course you did. Oh, what a way to start a career that that was a good place to work that wasn't it yes I couldn't have asked for anything nicer or better I learned an awful lot working there too so Good bosses. And uh, now you said your aunt and uncle, they lived here in Milshu, and who were they? Uh, San and Margaret Slemons, my dad's brother. Uh -huh. And uh, they were here, I don't know when they came here, but uh, they lived here for a long time and liked it too. I think they, were, they became Texans. They were from North Dakota. <laughs> and uh, he uh, at one time was even the postmaster. Yes, he was. That's right, yeah. And uh, she always taught elementary school, Margaret Slim. Yes, I believe. Taught. Yes, I believe she did. Uh -huh. Now, in Milshu, your mother didn't work. No, uh -uh, I don't think she ever worked when she was while we were here. But she was a nurse, and you were telling me a story about uh, her being a school nurse in Sudan. How did that come about? And there's more to the story. <laughs> well, she was asked to go to Sudan to be school nurse, and she told him no, she couldn't. She didn't drive, and she didn't know how she'd get over there. It's seven miles, and so 
uh, they came again and, uh, and after she had refused and asked her again. Well, finally she said she would, but she was going to have to learn how to drive. So one of my girlfriends and I, we were in high school, we took her out and taught her to drive. <laughs> and so then mother and I went to Littlefield to get our license, and I passed and she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but she drove anyway, so <laughs> for a while. And then she got her license. <laughs> I, I, at what age would she have been? Oh, dear. Well, I was in high school. Uh, she was probably uh, in her 40s, I imagine. I, I think so, yeah. Isn't that funny? That's a great story. Now, how did your parents actually come to Amherst originally in West Texas? Well, we had lived in Panama in the Canal Zone. And uh, we it, the war was over and we came back up to the World States. World War II. World War II. Came back up to the States and visited our families and everything. Daddy started looking for a job up here because he decided not to go back to Panama. And we had an, he had an offer in Phoenix and we went there and... I got sick and we realized it was the heat that was making me sick and they said, well, that won't work then. So we had headed for Mississippi, but there was an offer for a job in this little town in Texas and we were going right by there. So they said, let's stop. It was pouring down rain in August, which was a little bit unusual. And mother said, oh, don't stop. All the farmers were under the awnings because they couldn't be in the fields. And the parking lot at the hospital was caliche, and it was all gummy. And he went in, he came out, he said, oh, Matt, I, we've got to stay here. I can work with this man. You've got to come meet him. And that was it. We were in Amherst. <laughs> and the man, who was? Dr. McDaniel, Doc Mack, as everybody called him. And he was a really neat guy. And then, of course, Dr. Birdsong was there, too. Did he come later, or was he already there? No, he was already there. Uh -huh. And Daddy was the third doctor there. And uh, they had a very good practice there for a long time. And so what year was that? That was in 1945. In 45. So they came here to Milshoe, and they had West Plains uh, Medical Center in Milshoe. Yes, they bought the hospital from the Greens uh -huh. and were there until, well, Daddy died in 63. And they were, and then, of course, Doc Mack and Dr. Birdton continued on after that for a while. And um, so uh, the three doctors were here at that hospital in the location where the hospital actually still is to die. Yes, uh huh. That's right. They just closed that street there. Now, what were you doing in Panama? <laughs> well, Daddy was uh, got, went down there in uh, September of '41. He was working for the uh, civil service as a doctor, and we went down. Mother and my brother and I went down in uh, in uh, November, and the war started. The bo uh, Pearl Harbor was bombed in December of that year, and they thought. Panama perhaps would be bombed as well and uh, so uh, we were down there during the war never we had a lot of practice wars and things that were going on but uh, it was a fun time to be down there and then I, had daddy, I think daddy decided he'd been there long enough <laughs> and so decided to come back up and we couldn't go back to Wisconsin in the <laughs> after living in the tropics. <laughs> yeah, that was from one extreme to the other. Yes, wasn't it? yes yeah. So, so now uh, before you were in Panama, were you in Wisconsin? Yes, we lived in Wisconsin, and yes, we lived in the prison. <laughs> My father was a prison doctor, and we lived on the grounds behind bars. We had a key about four inches big we had to use to get through the gate. And uh, we had trustees that worked for us sometimes, and it was an interesting life. Uh, I... Uh, enjoyed I think thinking back on it I enjoyed the time I was there were you ever scared oh no yeah. no uh -uh. we did at one time have an incident our house was backed up to the uh, prison laundry and there was a door that went into you know was between there but uh, it was locked except one day one of the prison and so 
one day a prisoner happened to lean up against the door and fell into our house. <laughs> so they sealed the door that time and it was not opened again. <laughs> but that, of course I was kid so I it didn't bother me probably surprised me <laughs> but uh, daddy'd build a he uh, would in the winter time make a ice rink, skating rink out beside the house and because we were on prison grounds there were always lights around and so we could skate at night on that <laughs> so it, you know there were fun things that we could do and where in Wisconsin was they it's Waupon Wisconsin <laughs> and uh, now how did your mother and daddy meet well, uh, mother was a RN. She had gotten her degree, and she was a surgical nurse in Madison uh, General Hospital. And Daddy had gotten his uh, degree in Nebraska, University of Nebraska. And I'm not sure, I guess he was probably practicing by this time at Mendota Mental Hospital in Madison. And uh, mother's friend talked her into going on a date with a guy she didn't particularly want to go to go with. And the other guy was a blind date for her friend. And so she de decided she didn't want to go with that other guy. She, was, she didn't care who the guy was. She was going to go with him. And she just jumped in the car. It was a two-seater with a rumble seat. And she just jumped in. So the other couple had to get in the rumble seat. And that happened to be daddy. And... That was the beginning. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. Now, what about your mother? Where was she originally from? She was born in Medford, Wisconsin, up north, north central Wisconsin. Uh -huh. What was her name? Mat Mat Matilda Martin. And uh, her mother came here to live in her latter years. Yes, she came here uh, from Wisconsin. She lived up there 54 years in that house and came to Texas and settled in and was just, uh, she made a, made a home for herself here. But she was German. She came from Germany. And uh, she was quite a lady. She was, she lived to be 93. And so now, uh, what about your dad? Where was he reared? He was born in uh, Canastota, South Dakota. And lived there, I guess, until he went to war. <laughs> and I think you've got some letters uh, that he kept. Yes, one of my aunts saved letters, and I ended up with them for that he had written to his brother and to his sisters, and that his mother had written to him and his sisters had written to him. And they're very interesting. It's, it's fun to... Uh, when you know your father is a man to read things that he's written before he was ever married even you know as a young man and it's it's really interesting to to see those things he was in france and it was pretty nearly the end of the war he was never in any battles or anything he just i think he was a clerk i don't know i don't think they knew quite what to do with him when he got over there but he uh he had interesting letters and uh, also, your husband has ties to Milshu. He is deceased now, Jim Bishop, but tell me about his relatives in the Milshu area. Well, his uh, aunt and uncle were Horace and Ida Ruth Holt, and uh, his father died when he was a baby, and his mother went back to school to Texas Tech to get a degree so she could do something with, with her children and life. And uh, so when she was in school, he stayed with his aunt and uncle, who also had a son the same age, Robert Holt. And they lived in Amherst at that time, right? No, that was before, the, before they had moved to Amherst. That was when they were still here in Muleshoe. Oh, they were living in Muleshoe. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And he would stay with them. And those two boys were the same age. And what one couldn't think of, the other one did. They got into some pretty bad trouble sometimes. <laughs> and they looked like twins. So I, Ida Ruth, people would feel so sorry for her that she had those twin boys. <laughs> now, Robert has a sister uh, in Amherst. Yes, Carolyn Harmon. And she's the mayor now of Amherst, and that's who I stay with when I come here to visit. How wonderful. And now you have a sister-in-law and her family in Mill Uh Yes, uh, Kara John Schuster and Jack Schuster are my husband's sister and brother-in-law. And uh, I come to visit them when I come up here, too. So. And so Amherst is having a big celebration right now. Yes, they have their their yearly celebration. I'm not sure what year this is now that <laughs> there's been a town of Amherst, but they have a parade and and uh, 
give away i think they give away a lawnmower every year and uh it's just a fun thing a lot of people come back to be here and, and you've come a number of years yes i have come several years and in fact one year i was able to <laughs> fortunate to win a, one of the door prizes i got the uh, uh lamb county leader uh, subscription <laughs> to it for a year feel a new spot. yeah yeah and i uh enjoyed it so much that I continued getting it now because I always find something in there that's I know remember you know from the area and uh, when your class had their 60th uh, reunion didn't you ride in the parade in Amherst yes last year we there were four of us left that were here that they found a 1954 pickup and uh, they couldn't find a 52, so we, we decided a Ford was, close enough. Was, was okay. So the four of us got in the back, and we rode through the parade in the back of the pickup oh, at 60 good. years. And who were the other three that rode? Oh, Gene Patterson and, uh, oh dear, Eugene Griffin and Harvey, Grig uh, Harvey uh, Patterson. Uh -huh. Well, that sounds like that was a lot of fun. Oh, it was. It, it's always kind of fun. Now, tell us about your children. You have two, Teed and Letty. Where did they live and what did they do? Well, Teed lives in Edmond, Oklahoma, which is just north of us. And he's, I don't know what to say he does exactly. <laughs> he does some of everything. Uh, his wife is a... a an attorney for the House of Representatives, State House of Representatives, and has been for many years. She writes all the bills, so we can't understand them. <laughs> and you have a grandson from the... Yes, they have a boy, uh, Ben, who is now 10 years old, be in the fifth grade, and he's a fun, fun little kid. And uh, then my daughter, Letty, and her husband are both pharmacists. She uh, works at home now. They've set up a... a computer for her and telephone and she answers people's questions and I don't know exactly what but she knows all the answers so oh, that's a, a, the modern convenience of a, a lady getting to work at home or a man getting to work at home either yeah. Well, Tish, thank you so much. We've enjoyed our visit with you and reminiscing and making new memories. Uh, we have been visiting with Tish Slimmons Bishop, Mrs. Jim Bishop of Oklahoma City, and she is the daughter of the late Dr. and Mrs. T.M. Slimmons of Muleshoe, and they moved here in 1954 from Amherst by the way of Panama and Wisconsin, and we're so glad to have you in Muleshoe, Tish. Well, I, I always love coming back. Great memories here. <laughs>